Here's a little background information about May Day. May Day is a holiday rich in history and folklore celebrating the return of spring. It originated from Roman times, honoring Flora, a Roman goddess. During the 19th and 20th century, people hung baskets filled with flowers and treats on the doorsteps of friends and neighbors as a way of welcoming warmer weather. All right, so I've got my piece of paper. So I'm going to start making my cone for my Mayday basket. So I would basically just kind of start wrapping it up in the shape of a cone. You could staple it or you could tape it. Um, it's up to you. Make sure that you got your bottom um, closed off so that will hold your flowers. Got a piece of tape at the bottom. And then I usually put a piece of tape um, on the back as well just to secure that good. Okay, or you could glue it, whatever, um, decide, whatever you decide. Okay, after you have that done, you could go back and you could kind of decorate it if you wanted to add um, some color with markers, crayons, whatever you would like. It's completely up to you. If you've got other colored paper, you could cut out different shapes um, and add that as well. So we have different flowers here. Um, the first one, we've got just flowers, they're cut out of construction paper. Um, and then we've just got um, strips of green um, paper that we put in there. Um, we took the green strips and then we kind of tied it all up, bundled up, shoved it in, and then we just glued the flowers on top. That's pretty easy if you wanted to go that route. Um, another way is we used coffee filters for the majority of these flowers that you see today. I've got my daughter Elena here to help because she has been busy making flowers and she's been doing a super job. So she's going to show you how to make um, these flowers here. You can see that they have two tones um, in these. These are super cute. And then we also have these right here. These actually kind of look like carnations. Um, the carnations that you would see at a flower shop. So I thought those were kind of fun too for you guys to try. Um, we also have the flowers made out of newspaper. So if you don't have coffee filters and you still kind of want that look, you can simply take newspaper um, and make some that way. And then we also have these little tiny flowers. These are super cute. Um, these are also made out of coffee filters and Q-tips. So. We're gonna get started, and we have this block, and Elena can tell you a little bit about these flowers right here. So, if you look at these right here, those are painted with what kind of colors? These are just painted by some watercolors. Mm -hmm. And then we have these, the, the Sprite Aqua and the Sprite Pink one. Those were used with what kind of paints? Just like paints that you could like paint with. Paints that you could use like on canvases or stuff like that. Acrylic paints? Yes. Acrylics or tempers? Okay. Those turned out really, really nice. And this one right here, if you look at this one, this one is used, this one was made from just paper toweling. So if you got paper toweling, that would work just as well. So to make these types of flowers, you're going to take a coffee filter and flatten it out. And then you can paint it. And then you're going to let it dry. And then you can fold it in half and then fold it again in half. And then what I like to do is just fold it a few more times like this. And then you can take a scissors and you can just like cut around so it's like Just fluff it a little. You can 
smush it all together. Whatever you like. And then... That's really pretty. This is what mine looks like. That turned out super nice. Okay. So then, for your newspaper flower, tell them how you would go about making that. How do you get your base shape? So for a newspaper flower, you would just cut a circle um, that is similar to this, like the shape, but it'd be a little smaller around, and then you would just do the same steps where you fold it in half, and then fold it again, then fold it one more time, and then you would cut the top, and unfold it, and then you would just fold it, and then you push it down, and you spin it like this. And if you really wanted to, you could take some watercolors and go on the edges like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks nice. Okay. So for the carnation type flower, um, what I do with that, I just simply take my um, white coffee filter and I just kind of gather it together just like this. So you've got a good gather at the bottom and you kind of want to pinch it. Okay, and then you kind of want to fluff it a little bit. And then what I do is I kind of cut a little bit off of the top. Um, just kind of shaping it a little bit. That'll kind of add a little more I don't know, interest to it, I suppose. You can fluff it out a little bit. Kind of like that. And then when that is done, then I start to paint. Um, just the tip of the, just the tips of the flowers. So if I go in, and I would just kind of go that color in here a little bit. Just on the tops. All the way around like this. So for the small little flowers, you're going to start out with a coffee filter. Um, they can either be plain or you can paint them. I've got one that I've painted. And you're going to fold it in half. And then what you'll do is you're going to cut um, part of this off. Because you want to square, you want to make a long rectangle strip, is what I want to say. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the ends off. So I've got a nice rectangle. But then I also have to cut um, the fold, this edge right here. I have to cut that off. So I'm just going to stay really close to the fold because I don't want to waste my paper when I do that. And then what I'm going to do is just simply cut squares, just like this, okay, and then when I'm all finished, I could probably group maybe four of them together or so, and then what I need to do is I need to round my corners, I think that's pretty good, so I would just simply go around like this. And then I would do the same for the other. So when I get that finished, then I would take my Q-tip and I need to cut one of the ends off. Okay, snip it off. And then you can color um, the tip either with a marker or with um, paint. That would be fine, whatever you decide that you want to do. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just simply poke your Q-tip through your flower, or your petals I sh should say. And then you'll just push each one of those up as you go. Okay. So then after you have all of your petals on, then what you would do is you would take a piece of tape um, and then just tape underneath here so it kind of makes it stay a little bit. I'm going to push that underneath and then just simply wrap that around. 
there, and that will secure the base of your flower, okay? These are very cute if you have like a little cluster of them. So then when you're all done with your flowers, then you need to bundle them up. Um, we've actually added tissue paper to them and kind of stuck tissue paper in the bottom so they hold up a little bit better. Um, one thing I forgot to mention too is when you are um, finished with your flowers, you can take pipe cleaners, you can take skewers. Um, if you don't have any of those, you can roll paper up to make little paper sticks or even gather sticks outside and take those on the ends of your flowers um, to make stems so they stand up in your baskets. That's a fun way um, to make that work. And then also you want to um, make a handle for your little May basket. So you could punch holes on either side of your cones, um, attach ribbon, attach yarn, um, and tie it up. That makes a cute little handle. And don't forget to write a Happy May Day sign on your May Day basket. Um, do you have anything else you want to add, Elena? No? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about making May Day baskets? Um, probably decorating them. Decorating them? If you wanted, you could add like little designs to the basket or the tag or flowers. Okay. You like delivering these too, don't you? We try to do May Day baskets, um, we try to do them every year um, for the grandmas and the neighbors around here. We have fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and um, I hope whoever receives your May Day baskets, I'm sure they are going to love them. Have a great day!